So today's learning target is readers are able to explain how their textual evidence supports their inference. At this point, you should know how to make an inference and find the best textual evidence to support your inference. What we're going to work on today is writing a four to six sentence explanation explaining how your textual evidence supports your inference. I'm going to model this skill today using Priscilla and the Wimps. So my textual evidence is this. I admit it, I'm five foot five, and when the cobra slithered by with or without monk, I shrank. And I admit this too, I paid up on a regular basis. So from this piece of evidence, I can infer that the narrator feels scared and intimidated by Monk Clutter and his gang. So now I'm going to take this inference and turn it into a claim statement. So a claim is the argument that you're making in your paragraph. This is what you have to prove by the end of your explanation. You need to prove that this is true. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my inference into a claim statement. So I'm going to cross off the I can infer that. And I'm going to change the T to a capital T. And so now my claim statement is this. The, the narrator feels scared and intimidated by Monk Clutter and his gang. So I'm going to write down my claim. And then I'm going to write down my evidence right after my claim. So my, my evidence is this. I admit it. I'm five foot five. And when the cobra slithered by with or without monk, I shrank. And I admit this too. I paid up on a regular basis. So let's get to the hard part today. Your job is to write your explanation. You need to really, really prove to me that this evidence that you chose really supports your inference and it supports the claim that you're making in your paragraph. So the first thing that you're going to do in your explanation is this. You're going to rewrite the evidence in your own words. You need to really make sure that you understand your evidence and then you're going to explain what your evidence is saying. The second step is that you're gonna use specific clues in the evidence and what they made you think of when you were reading it. So when I read this evidence, what, was I, what clues helped me make this inference? The third thing you're gonna do is write how the evidence helped you get to this inference, really, really explain your thinking. So when you were reading, what in the evidence really helped you make this inference? Your explanation needs to be four to six sentences long. So let's get started. So if I was going to explain this evidence, I would say something like this. The narrator feels small next to Monk Clutter and his gang. So what this is saying to me is that the narrator feels small next to Monk Clutter and his game. So now I'm going to explain specific clues. So the clues that I felt I really wanted to talk about today were I shrank and I paid up on a regular basis. So when he says I shrank, he isn't really getting smaller, but that word shows that he feels small, insignificant, and less powerful than them. So when I'm saying this, what I'm saying here is I'm explaining how the word I shrink is supporting the fact that he felt scared and intimidated by Monk Clutter's gang. The second thing I'm going to explain is the part where he says, I paid up on a regular basis. So this is what I wrote. 
Also, when he admits he paid up on a regular basis, he describes how Monk Clutter and his gang intimidate him. This means that he caved into their bullying demands for money because he was too scared to stay, to stand up and say no. So he says here in the evidence, and I admit this too, I paid up on a regular basis. It really tells me and shows me that he's caving into these bullying demands because he doesn't want to stand up for, him, for himself, right? He's too scared to say no. So now my last thing that I'm going to do is I am going to um, show you how my evidence helped me get to this inference. Oops. All right. So this evidence makes me think that the narrator is really both afraid of monk clutter and he is also admitting to being a victim of the gang's bullying. So in this evidence, I see a couple of things. I see that he's scared. I see that he's intimidated. But I also really see that he's a victim of this bullying, just like everybody else in the school. So this is what my explanation looks like. This is It's really important not to rush this part, right? I really broke down each part of my, of my evidence so that I could explain it to you. So that by the end of my explanation, you really have an understanding of my claim and my evidence. So I'm going to read this to you one more, this all the way through to you. So the narrator feels scared and intimidated by Monk Clutter and his gang. I admit it. I'm five foot five, and when the Cobras slithered by, with or without Monk, I shrank. And I admit this too. I paid up on a regular basis. The narrator feels small next to Monk Clutter and his gang. When he says, I shrank, he isn't really getting smaller, but that word shows that he feels small, insignificant, and less powerful than them. Also, when he admits he paid up on a regular basis, he describes how Monk Clutter and his gang intimidate him. This means that he caved into their bullying demands for money because he was too scared to stand up and say no. This evidence makes me think that the narrator is really both afraid of Monk Clutter and he is also admitting to being a victim of the gang's bullying. So now here's your chance to try this out. So I'm going to give you a claim and a piece of evidence. And your job is to write your explanation. You're going to do this with your partner. So I'd like you to first write your claim and write the piece of evidence that I wrote for you. And with your partner, and each, each person's going to do this in their own notebook, together you will write your four to six sentence explanation. So your claim is this. I can infer that Priscilla is a loyal and protective friend. Quicker, your evidence is this. Quicker than the eye, she brings the side of her enormous hand down in a chop that breaks the cobra's hold on Melvin's throat. You could hear a pin drop in that hallway. Nobody'd ever laid a finger on a cobra. So notice that I put at the end of this, I put the author's last name and then the page number. You need to be sure to write this down as well. So your job right now is to do your explanation. I'm gonna have you pause the video and spend the next several minutes writing your explanation with your partner. When you're finished, I'd like you to come back for further instructions. Get started. All right, I hope that went well. Here's your final step. So your final step for today, this is your assignment. You're gonna choose an inference about a character in your independent reading book. You're gonna write a paragraph explaining how your textual evidence supports your inference. Remember that you need to have your claim, your evidence, and your explanation. If you're finished with this, you can continue reading, making inferences, and gathering textual evidence about characters in your book. Make sure to check in with your teacher today to make sure that you are following these instructions correctly and ask if you need any help. Good luck.